At least seven people have been killed when Israeli warplanes bombed an emergency center in southern Lebanon near the border with the 1948 Israeli-occupied territories with air-to-surface missiles, according to Lebanese security sources. Two sources, speaking on condition of anonymity, said early on Wednesday that the strike targeted the Islamic group's emergency and relief center in Lebanon's southern village of Habariya. Jamaa Islamiyah, a Lebanese group closely linked to the Gaza-based Palestinian resistance movement Hamas, said in a statement that a number of people had been killed and called the strike a heinous crime. An official from the group said seven rescuers were killed in the aerial assault. Another Jamaa Islamiyah official, also requesting anonymity, said a dozen medical staff were in the emergency center at the time of the strike, adding that bodies were being pulled from the rubble. Lebanese lawmaker Hassan Murad said the Israeli aggression on Habariyeh adds to the long list of Israeli crimes. Israel has been launching airstrikes against Lebanon since the beginning of its onslaught against the Gaza Strip in early October. An Israeli strike knocked down part of a building in the southern Lebanese city of Nabatia on February 14, killing seven members of the same family, including a child, Lebanon's official national news agency said. A boy initially reported missing was found alive under the rubble. In a separate Israeli attack, a woman and her two children were killed in the village of As Sawana in southern Lebanon. The Israeli regime launched its devastating hostilities in the Gaza Strip on October 7 after the territory's Hamas-led Palestinian resistance groups carried out a surprise retaliatory attack, dubbed Operation Al-Aqsa Storm, against the occupying entity. Israel's raids have resulted in retaliatory strikes from Hezbollah in support of the Palestinian people in the Gaza Strip. The movement has vowed to keep up its retaliatory operations as long as the Tel Aviv regime continues its onslaught on Gaza. The Israeli campaign in Gaza has killed at least 32,414 people, most of them women and children. Another 74,787 individuals have also been wounded. Israel continues to target residential areas and healthcare facilities across the besieged Gaza Strip, notwithstanding a UN Security Council resolution that demands an immediate ceasefire for the remaining days of the holy month of Ramadan. The regime's forces killed at least 76 people across the Gaza Strip over the past 24 hours, the Gaza Health Ministry said on Wednesday. The figure brought the total number of people Israel has killed in Gaza since October to 32,490, according to the ministry. In the southern city of Rafah, which is packed with about 1.5 million displaced people, the forces killed at least 24 people, mostly women and children, over the past 24 hours. In central Gaza, the military hit the Burej camp, killing five people. And in Khan Yunis, Israeli forces surrounded two hospitals and attacked a camp for the displaced, killing at least 12 people, including children, according to the health ministry. The Palestinian Red Crescent has warned that thousands are trapped in the Nasser Hospital in Khan Yunis and their lives are in danger. The situation is also growing worse throughout northern Gaza where people are facing a severe shortage of food and water and health supplies.